Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect. And, um, you know, what I have shown on the screen now is my history and the videos, you know, the videos that I've been watching lately. Um, as you see, the brother Kazak, Yahweh Shai, is coming back. I'm um, going to show you how Esau is putting the Bitcoin, all right, because what's happening now is that they want to replace the, the dollar, you know, they're devaluing the dollar so that they can place it, replace it with digital currency, all right, but now they're trying to replace a digital currency and put it in, in, in your, uh, you know, and put into um, microchips so that they can put it into humans, you know, because it's prophesied in Revelation 13. Uh, they, they're going to cause basically all to get that chip. And if you don't receive the chip, they will put you to death. Okay. You got the brother um, over there in Dallas. I don't know the brother's name, but he did a, a you know, a good video, man. Pissed me the hell off. It says, uh, more wickedness, pedophilia to go mainstream. All right. And then I was watching the Apostles, the live stream. They were talking about Esau. Um, and you know, just, just the wickedness of Esau, man, women getting rights, you know, you have a uh, female, uh, uh, basically female bodybuilders, you know, I remember the apostle Hart was talking about, he was watching, you know, he was in the boxing, he was watching the boxing, you got a buff ass woman, uh, boxing, man, you know, Kim trails in the air, you know, and the live stream also the apostle was talking of, um, one other thing he mentioned was, uh, you know, you go over there in the Pacific Ocean, you got basically garbage in the ocean, man. Bigger than continents, man. You know? So I say all that to say this, man. We got to get the hell out of here. We got to get the hell out of here. And I was just thinking, like, talking to the brother the other day. Because you have, you know, he was saying, like, you know, I'm ready to get out of here, man. That's, that's the spirit you got to be in, man. You got to be ready to go. You know? And you think, you know, there's really no other option for us. You know, like they say, is the grass green on the other side? Well, yes, it is, man. Because the more we stay here, the more wickedness Esau is going to um, come up with, man. You know? So, my first precept is, um, I want to get 2nd Ezra, chapter 5, verse 1. It says, nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold. The days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. And the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith. But iniquity shall be increased above that which thou now seest, which now thou seest or that thou has heard long ago. So it's going to get even worse, man. So you see why we have to. Um, like the Lord said, um, behold, I come quickly, hold that fast to that which thou hast, you know, basically talking about this truth, you know, because like I said, you, you think about it. If I, there's really no alternative, man. If the Lord don't come back, we finish, you know, Esau's the following of foods, he even so-called good foods, man. He's paying, uh, chemtrails in the air, which coming down to the foods that we eat. Which is prophesied that we should eat our bread to follow among the Gentiles. Okay. Put in uh, spider genes and, and salmon and, and, and fish. You know what I'm saying? Giving us GMO, uh, uh, you know, meats. So we got to get out of here, man. You know, there's no uh, alternative. It's either, you know, leave, get out of the, uh, uh, Babylon, or stay here and be destroyed. You know? This is Matthews. Uh, twenty-four. Um, trying to find a woman. Says shorten days for the Alexic. See, shorten the days. Twenty-four. 
24 and 22 it says and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened you know because the times we're coming into all right and the times we're in man, it's very perilous times you know we're coming into the time of jacob's trouble where it's going to be a famine of first and foremost of the word you know and it's going to be a famine on faith man it's going to be a famine on physically with food and water it's going to be a lot of people being put to death you know hey scriptures say how in revelations 12 and 12 esau is going to come down having great wrath so knowing all these things we got to have our mind set you know what i'm saying to to get out of here we got to be ready at a moment's notice to get the hell up out of here man you know This is Zephaniah. Uh, what's it, Zachariah? I think it's. Oh, okay, Zechariah chapter nine, verse twelve. It says, "Turn ye to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope." Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. And then it goes into uh, um, talking about how the Most High is going to lift us up. You know, so we being here, we in this weaker state. Oh, we can't, uh, um, you know, just being here, your body gets weaker, man, because of the chemtrails. You know? So it says, turn you to the stronghold. What's your stronghold is what? The scriptures. Like the scriptures say, what well, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time and the strength of salvation. Okay. It says, turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. Double unto who? You know, our persecutors, when I have been Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim, and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as a sword of a mighty man. So... You staying here, you know what I'm saying, having to uh, pay bills, you know, subject to uh, being sick, you know, if brothers that have kids, you know what I'm saying, basically, you, uh, you know, your kids got to go to school, learn this uh, bullshit ass, uh, you know, learn the bullshit that they teach you in school, you know, subject, and in school, man, they pushing that homosexuality and pedophilia stuff, man, you know, so you either do that, stay here, or... You know what I'm saying? You basically pray and have faith and hope that the Lord bring this uh, place down even further, man. Because once he bring this place down, all right, the elect man is going to be, uh, basically the most high is going to uh, strengthen us up. So you see how that works? It says, when I have been Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as a sword of a mighty man. And Yahweh shall be seen over them, and his arrows shall go forth as the lightning, and the Lord God shall blow the trumpet, and shall go with whirlwinds of the south. The Lord of hosts shall defend them, and they shall devour and subdue with sling stones, and they shall drink and make a noise as though as through wine, and they shall be filled like bowls, and as the corners of the altar. Okay. And and the Lord their power shall save them in that day as the flock of his people, for they shall be as stones of a crown lifted up as an ensign upon his land. Alright, so you went from the bottom to the most high taking his place down and that simultaneously lifting us up. You know? So this is what we have to look forward to. This is why I say the grass is greener. Or well, through the spirit, the spirit led me to say what? The grass is greener on the other side. And they, and the Lord their power shall save them in that day as the flock of his people. For they shall be as the stones of a crown lifted up as an ensign upon his land. You know? So we we, we uh, really going to get to represent. All right, yeah, how about Shimmy, how is shy? Now we doing it through his mouth. All right, as the scripture as is written of in Isaiah 11 and 4, that he shall uh, break this place down um, with the words of his mouth. 
All right, and Second Thessalonians was the Second Thessalonians, um, the spirit of, of his mouth, and, and then by the brightness of his comings. You know, so right now it's just all talk, man. But the Most High is gonna, you know, what I'm saying turn turn up the spirit on us, man. You know, some of us gonna have spiritual power, and he gonna turn up our faith. Because as times get harder, all right, as basically the Most High being a just power, you know, the scripture said false bounds is an abomination to him. So as the Most High turns up the heat, as far as Esau coming down on Israel, all right, he's going to turn up our faith, which in turn what? It's going to turn up the uh, spiritual powers, man. So it says, And the Lord their power shall save them in that day as the flock of his people, for they shall be as the stones of a crown, Lifted up as an ensign upon his land. For how great is his goodness. And how great is his beauty. Corn shall make the young men cheerful. And new wine the maids. You know so we got a lot to look forward to man. But we got to get past this damn hell first man. You know. And that's why the scriptures say what. Pray for a few days until you. So we got to pray man. Knowing that what. We, basically we praying for hell to come. We praying for Jacob's trouble. Alright. Therefore. Getting closer to the kingdom, man. Getting closer to those blessings that the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh has promised to us, man. That's the strongholds, man. All right, hey, we gotta uh, be strong in the Lord, like the scriptures say, "Woe to the fearful hearts." All right, in the double minds, roughly paraphrase it in Sirach, the I think it was like the first or the second chapter. You know, because hey, the scriptures say, "If you fearful, how you know I'm gonna just grab it." You know. So let's see, I think so rock two. So rock two and eight. It says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. You know, cause we about to come into the times where you just gotta have faith. You're not gonna know when your next meal is gonna come from. But then you 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 uh look at the men of old as as a, well, I'm gonna just keep going. Verse 9, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Meaning no one, for Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction, the time of Jacob's trouble. That's the time of our affliction. Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinners that go two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended, man. So we just got to go and having that uh, uh, breast. How's, how's it go? I think it's like Ephesians the 6th chapter. How we got to have that breastplate of righteousness. Let me see. Ephesians 6 and 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against, withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. You know, that's why the apostles push us to push, push more work, man. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Wherewith he shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Okay, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Okay, so this is what we gotta. Uh, this is what we we gotta be doing to uh, prepare ourselves. You know, this is how we turn in, unto the strongholds, man, by praying. You know what I'm saying? Taking on faith, uh, studying, fasting, you know, and just meditating day and night, man, uh, upon the, the mercies that the Most High has given us, man. You know? So, uh, I think that was it, man. I was going to read the Isaiah. To, you know what? I might just, I'm going to just read a little bit of this, man. Brothers can read uh, more, but this basically just goes into the, the blessings that Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shah is going to give us, man. You know, which is way better than the the shit we gotta deal with now, man. So it says, "Sing, O barren, thou that didst, thou that didst not bear, 
talking about Israel, man. We looked at as uh, the, uh, the scum of the earth. Break forth into singing and cry aloud. Thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine inhabitations. You know, because according to a prophecy, I believe is, uh, I want to say, Jeremiah 12, where the Most High is going to, let me just see if, I think it was Jeremiah 12, no. Oh, so like Isaiah 45 and 18, for thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, he have established it, he created it, not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. All right. And what for Israel to inhabit it, man? You know, so the Most High is basically going to bring us from rags to riches. You got brothers, you know what I'm saying, uh, shacking up together. You know, you got brothers, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, living in studios. You know, living in, in apartment buildings. But the Most High is going, and he's going to bless us, man. He's going to bless us, man. He's going to bless us, man. It says, enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. You know, so the Most High ordained it, man, for us to be uplifted. You know, and that's just a small thing, man. We're going to. We're going to get king, like the scriptures say, in my father's house are many mansions. So we're going to get planets, man. All right. We're going to get planets. We're going to get the blessings put upon us. You know, we're going to get virgins. You know, hey, we're going to get rulership of these other nations, man. We're going to get a righteous world. We're going to get real food. And most importantly, we're going to be reconciled back with our power. All right, which means what? The world is going to fear us once again, man. Fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, so it says, Enlarge the, the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not. For thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded. For thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. Cause what we just gonna be receiving blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings. It the scriptures even say the forces of, of the Gentiles shall be converted unto us. You know, and the apocrypha says in a time of, uh, of prosperity, there's forgetfulness of adversity. You know. And in, in the book of Psalms, hey, Psalms, I mean, I, I believe it was King David. All right. It, it was, uh, let me see. Maybe I could describe it. Psalms 126 and 1. It says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord have done great things for us, man. You know? So the Most High is going to lift us back up, man. Alright? Hey, but that was it, man. Like I said, that's a beautiful chapter. Brothers want to get into that. Isaiah 54. Hey, so with that, Lord, will you I can edify? Remember, the grass is greener on the other side. Just pray for a few days, man. And don't think about how scary it's going to be. Think about how beautiful it's going to be, man, when we get the fuck up out of here. Shalom to the elect.